Hey guys, Michael Fire and Brilliance. In today's episode, I will be breaking down flawless gemstones. When they're saying flawless, what are you thinking? What is the word flawless? The word flawless is basically perfect, right? There is nothing perfect in life other than a flawless diamond. I mean, think about it. What can you really say that is perfect other than maybe a perfect score in your, your test or a perfect something, right? Most people aren't perfect, but yes, there are perfectly graded gemstones. They're called flawless. And I'll go ahead and explain to you as to what that means, okay? Again, if you haven't checked it out already, I've had many breakdowns in terms of the four C's. Breaking down the four C's is the cut, the color, the clarity, and the carat weight. When we're talking about flawless diamonds, we are referring to clarity grades okay so uh if you want to brush up on that information just make sure you check out our previous videos i can definitely link in the comment section below uh, to make it easier for you to go ahead and locate and learn more about that that being said let's get right into this what is a flawless clarity grade a flawless clarity grade is the perfect clarity grade it does not get any better than that it is perfect in every single way every definition every meaning of that word it is flawless. What is clarity? Clarity, all that means is we are breaking down and understanding if that diamond, that moissanite, that lab-grown diamond, that blue sapphire, that emerald, that ruby, that tanzanite, that tourmaline, that alexandrite, is it 100% clear and flawless on the outside and on the inside of the gemstone? And you may be asking, if, especially if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, and if you are shopping for a gemstone and you're trying to learn, you may be saying, this guy sounds crazy. What does that mean? All it basically means is, is the gemstone clear and clean and clear of any imperfections? Gemstones created in nature as well as gemstones created in a lab, there may be sometimes imperfections. Uh, there may be inclusions inside of the gemstones. Sometimes there are little cracks, sometimes there are little minerals, sometimes there are white clouds, sometimes there are elements inside of the gemstone, sometimes there are blemishes on the outside, on the surface of the gemstone. Um, so there may be a chip, a small chip, that can also affect the clarity grade. So regardless if it's on the inside or the outside on the surface of the gemstone, these are called imperfections and inclusions. And the more you have, the lower the clarity grade. Okay, the clarity grade goes from flawless, internally flawless, VVS1, VVS2, VS1, VS2, SI1, SI2, SI3, I1, I2, and I3. Now, <laughs> have you noticed how many clarity grades there are? So if you can climb all the way to the echelon of clarity grades, that is flawless. And all that basically means is that there are zero inclusion, zero imperfections, zero elements, traces of other minerals inside of that gemstone where you can see with the naked eye or even under a microscope. And on top of that, there are zero blemishes on the surface of the gemstone. There are no scratches, no chips, no inclusions, nothing, nada, zero. Okay, basically it is a perfect clarity grade gemstone. So you may ask, how rare is it? Well, you know, to be honest with you, if you're talking about very rare gemstones, to find a flawless, flawless gemstone that is a natural gemstone, it can be quite difficult to find, especially the larger the gemstone. So if you're looking for a five carat flawless, there are diamonds out there or other gemstones that are five to 10 carats and bigger and can be flawless, but you're talking about the hundreds of thousands of dollars in terms of what that type of clarity grade entails, especially if the color is also high and graded, highly graded, especially if the carat weight is large, and especially if the cut grade is excellent or ideal. Now, if you tie that all together, wrap it all up, and put flawless on that, you're talking about the perfect gemstone. All right, uh, so that's what it is. A flawless gemstone is a gemstone that is clear on the inside and the outside. And how are these gemstones graded? Well, if you don't know, my name is Michael from Fire and Brilliance. I run a company called Fire and Brilliance here. Uh, we are an online business, fireandbrilliance.com. This is our Geminar or YouTube channel. 
and I did go to the Gemological Institute of America. I am a diamond graduate. So I know what I'm talking about because I've, you know, we've, in order to graduate this class, we basically have to go and review thousands or hundreds of stones, okay, and grade them in order to pass. So we have to kind of know what we're talking about here. That said, a flawless diamond or other gemstones in order to be certified by an, a reputable laboratory, okay? The Gemological Institute of America is actually, and, and just an FYI, I'm not being sponsored here. That's just the school I went to. They are one of the top gemological schools all over the world, okay? Um, so, for example, if you're to get graded by GIA, what a diamond actually has to go through the process is not only be graded by special equipment, but also very highly trained gemologists in order to get graded. And these stones are graded by multiple people to ensure that every one of those people can agree in a high probability that this stone is at that specific graded level, okay? Uh, so in order to get a flawless graded diamond, it has to go through a process with many gemologists, different types of equipment, not only just a microscope, but very highly expensive equipment, and then get graded and be called flawless. So um, yeah, to be honest with you, if you are looking for a flawless diamond, you're one of those rare breeds that are going for it all. You just want the best of the best and more power to you, okay? Um, so hopefully I answered that question. Are you a type of person that will be willing to spend money on a flawless diamond or are you willing to just lower the clarity grade just a bit, maybe a VVS1 or VVS2 or even a VS1 or VS2 or SI1, SI2 so that you can increase the size to maybe a one carat or two carat, right? Uh, or three or four or five, right? So uh, who are you? What would you like to do? What would you prefer? Make sure you leave in the comment section below if you like what I actually went over here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share the channel with anyone that you know that's currently in the market for a diamond moissanite, lab grown diamond or other gemstones. We break down everything jewelry under the sun here at the Gemini. Thank you again so much and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.